So why would training your legs impact testosterone and growth hormone more than any other muscle group in your body? Well, just think about why your body would increase testosterone, growth hormone, or any of these substrates in the first place. What your body does and how you build muscle and how you get stronger and how you do all of these different things, it's not because of training methods. Those things help, of course. But your body, your, your physiology that was built thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago isn't understanding of you going to the gym to try to get bigger biceps. That's, it, it doesn't think, oh, this person's working their biceps, let's build their biceps. It can, right? And it does work, but what does your body think you're doing? The body thinks you're doing something stressful on it and it needs to adapt to the stress. So there's a principle in training, which is called the SAID principle, S-A-I-D, specific adaptations to impose demand. So any demand that I put on the body, it's going to adapt to whatever that demand was. And so when you think about getting back to the legs discussion, and I've always heard like, people just say, Train your legs, it's gonna increase testosterone, but nobody tells you why. Why does it? So if you think about, again, your body doesn't really understand that you're trying to have this good physique or, or whatever it might be for your training methods or lose body fat. What your body thinks is happening is stress. And its whole design is to survive. Survive long enough so that you can replicate. That's your job for evolution, right? Survive, replicate, survive, replicate. So it's all about survival. Now, when we go to the gym, we're not in a life or death situation. So we do some arms, we do some chest, we do some whatever, right? Your body doesn't, or your brain isn't in that fight or flight mode, but the stress on the body mimics that. And so if you then take it, again, we're gonna get back to the legs here in a second, is if you're, if you're gonna train legs, and especially if you train legs hard, what happens is that's gonna mimic more of a life or death situation because think about it. What happens if you were being chased by an animal? You'd have to run and sprint and your legs are gonna do most of the work. Yes, your upper body's gonna work, but your legs are gonna do most of the work. If you're gonna get in a fight, you might think like, oh, it's punching, it's grabbing, it's doing all this stuff with your upper body, that's where you need your strength. True. But where does your power generate if you want to throw a punch? Where does your power generate if you want to pick someone up and move them? It's coming from the legs. The transfer of weight through your legs can then do the movement or the punching or the kicking or the whatever it is. So your legs are crucial to fight, all right, flight, those primitive natural evolutionary things that have designed that have been hardwired in us to survive. So if we're going to train legs, your body is going to think more of this is a light, this is a life or death situation versus if you just train biceps, again, your brain doesn't really connect to the fact that you're in a dire situation. Will it still grow the muscles? Yeah, because it's still a stress, right? You're stressing the muscle. Like I said, specific adaptation to impose demand. So I'm gonna stress the muscle. It's gonna react and it's gonna grow. But if you wanna optimize your testosterone, if you wanna optimize muscle growth through the rest of your body, this is something that I recently uh, noticed because I just said my goal for the next little bit is, of course, I'm, gonna, I'm developing the rest of my body, but I'm gonna focus in on my quads, specifically my legs my quads okay and I've been hitting them super hard like my last workout I felt like I was gonna puke and I just like crushing my quads and this past couple weeks I've noticed my other workouts have been better my, my upper body workouts have been I've been improving in strength um, and I was like hmm interesting right I've been going harder on the legs than I normally would and I'm still getting benefits for the rest of the body. So I'm, I'm thinking about it and I'm going, oh, no wonder why people say, train your legs to increase testosterone. Because again, that system tells the rest of the body what to do because <clears throat> that's the fight or flight. All your power is generated from there. All your sprinting, all your capability to fight or flee comes from the legs first. Yes, you're gonna still need your upper body, 
but the legs are on that level of primacy there at the top. So if you're thinking about, I wanna optimize my training, hit your legs first. That would be an even better way to go through it. Train your legs the first thing that you do in a workout itself. If you're gonna do a full body workout, train your legs first. Also, if you're gonna do like legs on, on Monday and then a workout on Wednesday and then another workout on Friday, do your leg workout first and train it. And I can challenge you by saying train it hard. Because again, what is your body going to, how is your body gonna adapt? If you, if you don't train hard enough, it's not gonna get enough of that stress. It's not going to kick on all of those hormones to try to get you to come back stronger and survive. That's the whole rationale behind increasing testosterone. goes, if this guy has to get in this fight again, this life or death situation again, we better be prepared. That's how we uh, have been able to get here. We've built on other foundations, right? Whether that's cities or whether that's technology or whether that's knowledge and information and we share, but your physiology does the same thing. Hey, that is a demand. That's a stress. We survived it. Let's prepare for it next time. Prepare for it next time. Prepare. So we can do that psychologically. We can do that by writing shit down and, and, and living our life, but our body does it inherently. And if you train hard enough, especially if you train your legs hard enough, Again, like I said, I, was, I felt like I was gonna puke in my last workout, but that's the level you need to get to because you're, I mean, if you go back to your primal days, right? Think about if you got in a fight or if you were running from something, you weren't going for a jog for fun. You weren't uh, uh, getting in a fight with a bunch of rules, right? Like people box today or they do MMA. There's still rule sets. There's still a referee. Everything back in the day was running for your life fighting for your life, whether that's with an animal or whether that's with another tribe, another person, you have, everything was life or death. The world was a lot more harsh. Now, of course you still, as I, you ran and you did things for fun, if you're chasing people around and that's different. But what I'm talking about is you gotta get, if you really want that testosterone to pump through your body, you wanna build even the rest of your body, train those legs hard, lift squats, deadlifts, leg extensions, leg curls, anything around the quads, the hips, the glutes. That's why people talk about squats and deadlifts being the king of exercises because they're gonna train and hit. They're also gonna say hit up parts of your upper body as well on your back. But anything that does that leg hip area is phenomenal for it. So again, it's hardwired in your system. If you wanna maximize it, train your legs first, and train your legs hard. That way, your body is going to say, man, we gotta prepare. We gotta prepare for this life and death threatening situation. Crank up the hormones, get this guy stronger. Everything needs to be stronger because those legs dictate what the rest of the body does. Like I said, it's involved in all of those life or death situations. So that's the reason why you might've heard why your, your legs, there might be other rationale behind it as well. There might be other, you know, ho, you know hormonal reasons why specifically legs, but just think about that, that general concept of why your body would adapt in the first place. Again, it's all about survival. And today we don't have those threats of life or death situation. When you go to the gym, you're not under threat. But if you can get yourself to that level of intensity, like you're gonna die, Dorian Yates, one of the best bodybuilders of all time, he used to talk about, you know, when you wanna quit, when you're, you know, doing a leg press or you're doing whatever, whatever exercise, you gotta get nuts inside your head. He's like, think about people raping your family or, 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 or burning down your house or, you know, doing terrible things. It's like, get into that primal mode and get nuts. And that's how you're gonna develop. So that's how you develop, maybe with the help of some, exogenous testosterone as well, okay? Bodybuilders are famous for that, but if, if you wanna maximize what you've got and you really wanna get after it, especially if you're natural, go hard on your legs and you are gonna see massive, massive benefits, not just for your legs, but for the rest of the body and your hormones. So that's why using your legs, working out your legs, increases testosterone and the other growth hormone substrates. Enjoy.